Good afternoon, Oz. You know, with these chairs not backing up like they used to. Yeah, that's kind of strange. Well, we'll see what happens when more people show up. That's for the uh, timeout, really. He wanted the concurrent connection one. <laughs> I see Oz is having fun. And we have a cat. -a. Our tin man showed up. No, wait a minute. Our robot. Duh. Yeah, a resident tiny robot. He put it out, charging station for him. 
you know, he's still got that float on his tail and he needs to charge up. <laughs> we'll give people uh, another couple of minutes to show up and then we'll, we'll get started. Ah, there we go. And it's musical chair time. Who brought me this time? <laughs> All right, I guess we've given people enough. Well, oh, there we go again. Uh, we've given people enough time to show up, so we'll we'll go ahead and get started. Um. We have our agenda. Um. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, server side appearance. Uh, we have we have Nick's here. So I'll let. Um, let him give you an update from the team's perspective. Okay. Uh, you guys may have noticed we uh, pushed some uh, additional changes to uh, Sunshine External. Uh, we sent an email about this uh, earlier this week. Um, so this is our next round of uh, viewer changes. Um, <laughs> yeah, a little more than minor. Um, so as we started to test uh, server-side appearance, we noticed that the uh, big failing point was inventory. Um, and so as a second follow-up uh, release, we are going to be working on inventory issues. Um, there are also some bug fixes in there uh, for some bugs uh, you guys have been asking about uh, if you want to uh, pick and choose. Um, the code in there is not release ready uh, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, it's still very much under development and very much uh, not a strict requirement for supporting uh, server-side appearance. Um, so uh, your viewers that you are releasing with uh, the code synced to 351 should be uh, perfectly functional um, as, as much as uh, the inventory system works as is. Um, in addition, I believe we've been uh, working on trying to get a region or two um, on Testylvania up uh, for you guys to test your viewers against. Um, so we're continuing to uh, do our development, um, and if you guys have any questions, concerns, or bug reports, uh, please let me know. Um, I do have a question. Uh, when you say that the 117 commits aren't uh, necessary for server-side appearance, um, is that something that you wouldn't flip the switch for server-side appearance until you had those changes in your viewer, in your release state? 
Uh, the plan was that uh, anything that was required for us to flip the switch should have been in viewer 351. Um, if we find any super critical bugs, um, that absolutely must be fixed in all viewers uh, before we can start flipping the switch. We will let you guys know. Um, well, it but, sounds like because you've got some uh, bake fail issues still, and that's inventory related, that would seem to me to be pretty significant. Well, let, let's put that in perspective, right? The question is not whether or not there will be no bake fails. The question is, will there be fewer bake fails than there are now? Um, so, that is, without server-side appearance. Right. Um, and... Uh, I think we believe we're still doing, you know, some final checking on that, but I think we've actually passed that threshold already. Um, so even without the changes that are in Sunshine ex external right now. So, um, you know, that's, that's kind of the, you can still force a rebake. It, the same, same thing is, is true. Um, the um you you can force a rebake so i think it's the same keyboard shortcut keyboard shortcut any white miss into appearance both work uh and so the the inventory issues I'm talking about are ones that uh, we believe um, are the next major failure for appearance, but we don't believe that our changes to the system have made inventory any worse than it is today. Um, so we don't believe that that would be a blocker for pulling out server side appearance. Uh, if we find any evidence to the contrary, we will let you guys know. You still can do that if you really want uh, tech, but um, that shouldn't really be necessary. Okay, do you guys so intend? I remember. Oops. Okay, so Sorry, it because I remember complaining about that. So you guys change it, obviously. Um, so the next question is again ETA, and do you guys plan to have the second round of code in your release viewer before you flip the switch? Uh, currently, that is not um, a strict requirement of ours, um, and ETA is still uh, not something we can uh, guarantee at this point. Um, as I said, we're trying to get a couple test regions up on Aditi. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, metrics from use of those regions uh, very closely, um, and we still have some work to do for uh, Sorry, Agni. Um, and we still have some work to do around um, mesh meshes with uh, join offsets and uh, the interaction with that and avatar height. Um, so we still have a couple things to uh, finish up before we can uh, commit to any time frames. When you guys do the switch to um, Agni, that you put up some test regions, uh, if it's helpful, um, just like we did a load test uh, with you guys on Aditi, um, we've got beta testers who can participate and help. Well, we're we're putting those in the Testylvania regions that you already have people that have access to. So, uh, and they may even be up uh, before the end of the day. I will send a note out to the announce list. Um, so. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll jump back to Nick's for the caveats. But the um, the point is to you know of of putting those up is to give you a chance to gain confidence that that what you've got in your viewers now is the right set of stuff. So uh, and without without any of the, the uh, possible complications that that. Uh, that Aditi seems to create for some people. So 
some of the caveats are uh, this is not our start of the rollout process. Uh, please uh, don't tell people that we're starting to roll out uh, server-side appearance. That is uh, not true yet. Um, and uh, this is going to function uh, the way it is going to function uh, during rollout, which means once you visit this region, your avatar will be converted to server-side appearance. Uh, after you leave, if you do not force a rebake or change your outfit, uh, you will still have a server-side baked appearance, and people who have not updated their viewers will not see you correctly. Um, so please, uh, once you leave that region, please force a rebake uh, so people don't start getting packed. Unless, of course, we want them to panic. Is that what you're saying? No, at this point, Please. we don't want them to panic. <laughs> we do we not very want, to much do not panic. want to panic. Right. This is not the beginning of the rollout. This is the ability for you specifically, this same small thought, same small group, um, the ability to gain confidence that your viewers work correctly among yourselves. Um, so... Uh, you know, we're putting these up so that so that we can so that we can accomplish that. Um, uh, yeah, yes, that's the plan. Um, I, I don't, I don't know. Um, I don't know when that will be turned on. I believe the software is there now. And I, we have to get get the switched on. Um, yeah, Alexa. Anything to add to the uh, Pennsylvania rollout, Alexa? Hi, all. As soon as I find out it is live, I will send out a notification in the world to the group. Wonderful. Which group? <laughs> Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, sorry. No problem. <laughs> I'm blonde today. Too many groups. Let's increase it to 256 groups and then we'll really get confused. <laughs> Where are you, Tech? <laughs> Actually, next, if anything, we've been trying to uh, keep people calm in regards to service side picking. Well, keep them calm, but at the same time, press upon them that they really ought to—they really ought to be upgrading their viewers right about. Now. Yeah, certainly pretty soon, um, but we we don't really we don't have a timetable to associate with that yet. And and Nick's, by the way, that was a joke. That bit about uh, freaking people out. Um, we're actually behind you 100% here. We, we've even been saying nice things about you at some of our classes. Okay, so any other issues with respect to server-side appearance? Shall we move on? Uh, I think we can move on. Okay, so the uh, 352... Um, the FMOD EX and version management changes um, is uh, about to move to release probably early next week. Uh, it's, it's in beta now, has been, we've had a couple of spins there, and, uh, and we're, we're happy that that stuff is there. Um, so that's going to move to release. Um, some of that ridiculously low crash rate was turned out to be counting errors. So, um, what a shame! Yeah, that's the way. That's the way it goes. We were really looking forward to picking up that chain set from you. Uh, yeah, it turned out to be a kind of obscure. Um, there, there were two. There were two problems. One was uh, an obscure effect of not opening files in binary mode on Windows. Uh, and um, 
Uh, I actually managed to do to change some of the counting by uh, accidentally wrapping um, code in in the macros that were only so that it was only activated when debug logging was on for that piece of code. And of course, I had done my testing with debug logging on so that I could see what was going on, and uh, so I messed it up. Anyway, um, those are fixed, uh, and. Uh, I will actually be doing the release build later today, and it'll go through a, a round of testing, and then presumably it will go out next week. Um, so, um, coming soon to a um, to a, a release channel near you. Um, subsequently, probably, ho well, the hope is sometime next week. Um, the uh, the materials code will move to beta. So um, it's still not 100% there. There are still a few known bugs, but um, we think we've got all the all the serious ones. And so we're going to put it out where more people will play with it. Um, and uh, try, to, try to get it out. Yeah. We're going to go out and put it through the full ringer uh, starting tonight. Um, and then uh, there are other things, you know, as you know, behind those in the in the pipeline. Um, I expect materials to be in beta for a little while. I mean, it's going to be a, a it, it will not be a one spin beta. Um, but uh, the other thing that's going to happen um, because the version upgrading changes have moved, will have moved uh, later today into the viewer release channel, um, that uh, that will mean the viewer beta uh, repository will stop getting used. Um, so the builds for the materials project beta will be happening in the materials repository in its own build. Um, I will, uh, it won't be up this week, but um, in the next couple of weeks sometime, I will begin publishing a wiki page that tells you what all the viewers that are out there are. Well, there'll be a separate, there'll be two different pages about this. One is a page, the official alternate viewers page will have all the project viewers and betas and any release candidates that are out there, and of course the the released release viewer, uh, and you know where to download them, what version they are, where to download them, and the release notes for them. I will separately be maintaining a page that will have that same population of viewers, but will also have a pointer to what repository they were built in and what change set they were built from, and whether or not that repository is public. Um, hopefully. Most of them, all the the intent is that all the betas and all the release candidates will will always be public repositories. Um, project viewers, some of them, you know, at, at very early stages they won't be, and at later stages they will be. Um, so, uh, but that'll be but that'll be visible. Um, so there'll be an easy way for you, relatively easy way for you to watch uh, which. Uh, which repos you, you should be looking at for, for changes that are coming down the line um, and, and where they are in the pipeline. Um, so that, that the, the code to create that wiki page is, is sitting around waiting um, to be used. Um, it just needs the uh, production deploy of the new version manager to, to uh, and, and are switching over to using it the, to uh, to be used. So that's coming soon. Um, and I, the other two items on our list, the SL voice upgrade and um, group bands, I really don't have any update on. I don't, I don't, there's been no substantial change to report on either of those. Um, so uh, group bands, um, Baker tells me he has he has continued doing some fixes um, in the People API um, and 
is getting to know all the infrastructure he needs to know to make to do the the group bands work but uh he hasn't actually gotten that started yet so it's coming it's on his list um everybody knows that it's it's important and it won't come off of our agenda until it's done but um it's not there yet yeah well we'll we'll see um uh people that have tried it tell me that that uh the new codecs are are better so well it's is it interesting as soon as vivox starts up it just eats up all one core and never bends or does anything even when you close the viewer it keeps running hmm. oh well that in our view in our viewer i think we fixed that um i don't know no it does it on any viewer it doesn't matter really what platform are you on there it's Windows 7, but I think it was when they updated the sound driver that it started doing it. Ah. Okay. Um, so I'll give some feedback on that when we get that far on upgrading. Okay. Um, I'll, uh, I'll try to track that down. I mean, that's something that will probably appear as a, as a release candidate viewer pretty quickly once we switch over to the new process. Mm -hmm. uh, Thank you. You're so. also welcome to send me an email with the, uh, with the information, and I can uh, pass it along, and we can start looking at it early. Okay. We can, yeah, we can see if we can match your, your platform. Include the driver version and all that stuff. Yeah. You can find it. The IDT sound codec. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much what I had on my agenda. So the floor is open. Don't uh, everybody Coco? speak at once. I noticed Monty was here. <laughs> is Monty here by chance? Right behind you. Yep, I'm up here in the uh, mezzanine. Uh, any more changes to the HTTP stuff coming down the line? <coughs> there are... <coughs> oh, excuse me, sorry to do that. <coughs> yes, there are. Uh, right now I'm actually working on something else. There is some fallout from bug 2295, which has um, a, a mix of server and a viewer site component, which I'm spending way too much time on, but I've got to find this thing. But when I'm not doing that, I am actually working on viewer side right now, uh, HTTP. Um, in particular, Mesh Repo. I've been doing a lot of work on Mesh Repo, and I'm going to hit that the way I hit Texture Fetch. Uh, it's part of the conversion. So that is underway. I don't have a schedule for it, but um, that's the next thing to go. The other piece is that I've been reading the release notes on the curl 730, which just came out. And the uh, Loop Curl people have finally understood and started to deal with the country management issues, which they've been avoiding, and which pipeline has made worse. And um, Loop Curl 30, 730, is one that starts to address these in a big way. Uh, it's a major jump in Loop Curl functionality. And that is something that we are going to be adopting at some point. I don't know that it'll actually be the 730 release, but um, much of the goodness that we're going to need to make this thing really perform well is in 7.30 and come out of that. So expect that to happen as, uh, as soon as it's felt to be safe. Now here is a classic example where commercial work is actually benefiting the open source community of journal because library curl is getting some much needed updates. <laughs> yep, they finally understand it. Tanya, you started saying something, and then I cut you off. Sorry. Yeah, I was just going to ask about the uh, Coco stuff. I, I know it's been in the queue behind other things, uh, both at, at Linen Lab and uh, and the source. But uh, you, uh, Ozzy, you think that's going to come? Yeah, actually, the materials project stole all the resources from Coco, um, and uh, in, in order to get materials wrapped up. 
Um, so once materials is out the door and the bug rate on that falls off, then we'll be able to start spending cycles on cocoa again. Um, it's actually really, uh, my understanding is it's, it's actually really close. So that'll be the sort of thing that'll be coming out relatively quickly um, once we start paying attention to it again. Um, shouldn't be a long, long time. Yay. But we, we quite deliberately and explicitly said we're going to stop working on that so that we can put those people on, on materials problems. Uh, I have a silly question. It's not really related to the third party viewers directly, but uh, is there any way of dealing with some of these idiots that uh, we need to deal with on a daily basis in some of our groups before we get a group ban list? ARing them doesn't do squat. No idea. Uh, no, I'm not. I, I'm not prepared to do life for uh, getting rid of a problem like that. Sorry, Tanya. <laughs> well, it's really. Uh, I don't know. All, all I know is that this person comes into uh, our larger groups, uh, specifically the French one, mainly. Um, and is posting some rather vulgar yeah, language. Soliciting sex. Uh, basically, yeah. SL hookers, yay. Very graphically soliciting sex, actually, but that's beside the point. Wasn't she using a username at one point that was basically hooker and friend? Uh, I believe so, yeah. She's got multiple alts, and uh, um, we they can get by the bot, Latif. We have a bot, Latif, but um, what they do, the way you get past is pretty simple. You have a a copy in your in your clipboard, and, and as soon as you open chat, paste, and and then it goes through, and the bot kicks you out. She's figured that out. She gets ejected regularly from our groups. Uh, there's not a day goes by that she's not ejected at least once or twice from multiple groups. Uh, other, other topics. Sorry, uh, I can't nothing help from with me. the governance things. We'll, 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 we'll encourage Baker, but that's nothing there. You mentioned earlier that you were looking possibly into updating the GPU table for materials. Is that still planned? Uh, actually, I haven't heard anything about that lately. That's a good question. I don't know whether we did anything about that or not. I, I am guessing not. I don't remember saying but, it. Um, I have an updated table that I can file a gyro and give it to you that you can add. It, it just incidentally, it tends to be true that you guys make changes in a way that doesn't move, merge smoothly with with our tables, but so I don't know uh, how we have a, that'll happen. We found that almost 
any time we've ever merged your GPU changes and then release it, we've got <laughs> nightmares of problems with our release. We've actually got a system in progress TechWolf is making for Tank, which will allow us to update the GPU and feature table dynamically without having to issue a new viewer release. Like you do with your viewer. Yeah, we, we've only used that a couple of times since I've been here, but... Uh... In, in theory, it's, it exists. Um. Well, we're having problems with uh, mobile NVIDIA not detecting right, and it was because of a improper string variable. Uh, yeah, I mean, don't. I, I, I don't mean to discourage you from submitting the the changes. Go ahead, right. please do. Um, I'm just saying. The response might not be quick because if it doesn't work yeah, smoothly, yeah. yeah, I get that. It doesn't happen. <clears throat> um, I actually built a set of scripts for the, what the effect of any GPU table change really was, um, and it's the side effects that are that are often problematic. Um, but uh, I don't think it's been used consistently since then. So. Why is it that um, Second Life uses a GPU table and most other gaming platforms don't use that type of technology? I'm not in a position to guess. It just seems very old school to still be using you know, a GPU table. Yeah. Instead of querying the GPU for its capabilities and going off of that. So that's probably more a question for Dave. Yeah, it, it probably is. The The other thing that's true is that we try to support a much wider range of graphics hardware than most right. canned games do. Much, much wider. Um, now, maybe that's foolish of us, but there you go. Um, unless somebody's got something else, I guess we'll wrap up a little early today. Oh, really? Share your, your chart quick. Oh, yeah. Really made a chart. Interesting chart. This is based on our crash no. reporting. Oh, the one that shows that Intel graphics do not fail to... There, that's the one. Oh, that that's that's very cool. Alexa passed me that earlier today. So we're looking at um, banning all users that have Intel drivers. <laughs> uh, include the API. That way, we could drop forty-two percent of the crashes. <laughs> oh, uh, no cherry picking of. Uh, of users and pushing the the crashy users onto other people's channels. Well, I was just going to say we could sell, send the Intel drivers to Singularity. <laughs> it's a gift. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Well, we did find that the uh, driver that's um, most crashy for Intel is fairly out of date. It's from November of last year. There's been three updates since then. So hopefully, uh, if there was some way to force them to update, that would be ideal. Uh, it's not on voice. So is that an early... Early third party viewer meeting? Right before a long weekend? Really? The long weekend? Oh, you guys don't have long weekend. Oh, you you don't have Victoria Day, sucker. Next. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, next, next weekend is. 
Memorial Day. Oh, for Day. you guys this next weekend? Oh. We get ours now. See, Canada, we get our, our birthday before you guys. We get long weekend before you guys. We're on top. Yeah, Canada you get, wins. You get <laughs> snow before us. You get to freeze solid before us. You get okay, okay. You don't get to thaw out before us. Enough of that. Enough of that. <laughs> you get more snow than we do. Oh, some of you, maybe. Uh, I'm quite willing to bet that Tanya gets damn near as much snow as we do. Snow in May is just wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes, All right. I actually Thanks did so drive through snow last week. Jeez. Okay, care, thanks guys. Have, Have a good one, everybody. Ed, do you need me in SL? No, I need you here in RL, if you could get here. You're going to go do that jump off the there's, bridge thing, eh? Th there's that bridge waiting for us, Jess. Yeah. No, I will need to talk to you at some point on the weekend. Okay. Okay. I'll be around. Alrighty. Later all, poofs. <laughs>